In this video, we will take a look at rationalizing denominators that have complex binomial expressions in them. You may recall, similar to other radicals, we can rationalize a binomial denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. The conjugate is made up of the same terms where one has a positive in the middle and one has a negative in the middle. You also recall from comp multiplying sums and difference that we only need to multiply the first two terms and the last two terms as the middle terms will subtract out to 0. a times a would be a squared and bi times bi would be negative b squared i squared. However, remember i squared is negative 1 which will change the negative into a positive. Let's take a look at some examples where we rationalize by multiplying by this conjugate. In this problem, we've got a binomial with two terms. So we'll multiply by the conjugate 2 plus 5i in both the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, we simply have to distribute 4i times 2 is 8i and 4i times 5i is positive 20 i squared. However, recall that i squared is negative 1, which changes the positive 20 into a negative 20. In the denominator, we only have to multiply the first and last terms. 2 times 2 is 4, and negative 5i times positive 5i is negative 25 i squared. However, the i squared changes the negative into a positive because i squared is negative 1. We now have 4 plus 25, which is 29. We could factor the numerator to see if it reduces by pulling out a factor of 4, leaving 2i minus 5 over 29. But we'll find that this does not reduce. Either of these two answers would be considered the correct simplified solution. Let's take a look at one more example where we're asked to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. In this problem, we have 3 plus 5i in the denominator. The conjugate would be 3 minus 5i, and this is what we must multiply by in both the numerator and the denominator. Remember, we must multiply the entire numerator by the 3 minus 5i, which will require us to use FOIL. 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. Negative 2i times 3 is negative 6i, and negative 2i times negative 5i is positive 10i squared. However, remember i squared is negative 1, which will change the plus 10 to a minus 10. Let's go ahead and combine these like terms. 12 minus 10 is going to be 2. Negative 20i minus 6i is negative 26i over. In our denominator, we need to multiply the first and last terms together. 3 times 3 is 9, and 5i times negative 5i is negative 25 i squared. However, because i squared is negative 1, that changes the negative 25 to a positive 25. 9 plus 25 is 34. This is our denominator. To see if we can reduce, we'll factor a 2 out of the numerator, making it 1 minus 13 i over 34. Sure enough, 2 and 34 have a common factor of 2. This gives us our final answer, 1 minus 13i over 17. Just as with regular radicals, if there is a binomial in the denominator, we clear the radical, or the i, by multiplying by the conjugate.